from the Huntswoman at the underscore Huntswoman on all social media channels. And today I'm really excited to be reviewing black plus size gowns, wedding dresses from Hannah Caroline Couture with a few jewelry pieces from Spite and Sparrow. So we're just gonna dive on in and get talking about this. So I met Hannah, the person behind Hannah Caroline Couture, um, a few years ago. She took one of my classes. We've been like social media friends. She's doing fashion, I'm doing fashion. We can both complain about various fashion designer things that happen when you're cutting fabric at 2 a.m. And I have been wanting to do a styled bridal shoot for a really long time. But it's basically where you do like bridal photos and you get photographers and florists and you do a whole collaboration. Um, and I had been looking around and I don't really want to do like white wedding dresses. What I really wanted to do was like more spooky black dresses because with like millennial witchery becoming a thing, more and more people are choosing to have alternative wedding dresses, black wedding dresses, or black and maroon, or colors, or whatever for their wedding. So I thought it'd be super fun to do an editorial um, with plus size black wedding gowns. And so I reached out to Hannah and I sent her like a whole brief. This thing was like 12 pages. I explained everything that I wanted to do because I was literally asking her to make three gowns for this collaboration. And she was like, heck yes, because we had that rapport built up over the last couple of years. She sent out the dresses and then we had the uh, photo shoot um, yesterday, Sunday, today's Monday that I'm filming this. And I also wanted to talk about the design process with Hannah Caroline Couture and how all of this works because for a lot of people they're used to going into bridal salons or people tell you to like order from China and it gets, it gets a little sketchy. So what's cool about Hannah Caroline Couture is that one, it's a woman run led brand. Two, um, Hannah Caroline Couture is in the Midwest, but they ship all over the place. And three is that everything is super customizable. And um, normally if you buy a wedding dress and then you get out like alterations done, your wedding dress can be however much money it is, and then your alterations can be $1,000 plus. So what's cool with Hannah Caroline Couture is that she quotes everything and is super clear about pricing on everything so you don't get like the surprise bill that so happens um, often with weddings. And we actually collaborated on these gowns. I sent off images of like what I would love to do, like inspiration images. And we talked back and forth, like I really wanted to shoot a gown with sleeves, love velvet. We talked about all of these things and she incorporated it into the design. So you can order directly from her site with the dresses that she has listed, but you can also like customize things if you really wanna have something custom and special for your special day. Yeah, let's just get into reviewing these dresses. So the first dress is the Margot Satin Ball Gown, and this dress is actually inspired, named for um, spooky, witchy, plus size blogger babe Margot Mimi. She also has a super fun Facebook group, which I'll link below. And this is what's called Matte Satin. So what is super cool about this dress is that satin is normally has like a very like shiny, finish, you know, like that kind of like prom dress look. So a matte satin is still luxurious, but it's matte. So you don't get that super shiny feel. And it still catches the light beautifully while avoiding the prom kind of look. And then here is Le Bodice, as you can see. And when I was talking to um, Hannah, founder of Hannah Caroline Couture, I was really worried about the bust fitting. Because anytime I try to buy a dress, I always have to take it to a tailor or fix things myself because there's weird gaping and awkward things transpiring. Um, but not with Hannah. So that was really great. And then zip closure in the back. Super easy to do up. I don't know if you've ever had that thing where you're like trying to get into a fancier dress and you have to have like four people zip you up into it. Not the case here. And then what is also cool about um, Hannah Caroline Couture is she puts what's called horsehair braiding into the bottom. And back in the day, horsehair braiding was literally made out of horsehair because it was like nylon 
and feel, but now we have horsehair braiding that doesn't require horsehair. Um, and what this does is it keeps the hem of the gown from flipping up or doing weird things and gets, gets it, it gives it a little bit more weight so that the dress falls where it's supposed to be and you don't constantly have to be arguing with it or like assign a bridesmaid or a bestie to keep like fixing your skirt and your train because things keep messing up. What's also cool about this is this is a tool inset along the seam. You can see this is the seam right here. And what Hannah has done is she's opened up the seam and put in some tools so you can like see a little leg, see a little cute shoe as you're walking by and dancing. And it flows really effortlessly too. So when I was walking around in this, I was originally worried that I was like gonna trip and rip it and like do all that stuff. And I traipsed all along a mountain <laughs> for this editorial and we were totally fine. Okay, so next up is the super fun gown and this was definitely a hit, hit on my Instagram story when I shared it. And at the end of this, if you wanna fast forward, I try on all the dresses and like twirl around and look cute with some like background music going. Um, so this is the Stargazer dress named for obvious reasons. And I just wanna make sure I get all like the fun points about this dress. So this is a sleeveless A-line gown with a pleated bodice. So that means that the, there's like gatherings under the bust. And made from a celestial inspired foil. That's these, these stars are foily. Ooh, so fun. Can you imagine the pictures in this? Like, oof. Like I would do this dress as either like the wedding dress or if you're into me and you wanna have like four, three or four dresses on your special day, like change into this for the dancing party. Um, da, 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 da. and then what's really cool about this too is there it's what's called a peach skin say that five times fast has a peach skin lining on the inside that's super soft and sometimes when you put on a gown the the stuff that's against your skin it's like harsher or rough it feels it's really weird it's like the exterior is beautiful and the interior you're like oh I'm like chafing but not with Hannah Caroline Couture, so peach skin. And then I played with these sleeves for the shoot. I had it off shoulder and then I had it on my shoulders. Had a fun time with that. Because what's cool about these is they like stay put. You know, if you have a bigger bust, I'm used to like whoop, whoop, like doing this like motion a lot, not an issue. You can have silver stars or gold stars or a combination of gold and silver stars um and this dress is available in black white and pink options or blush blushing bra and also for those of you wondering the foil stars and moon, moons and all that fun stuff stayed on the dress again i was traipsing in these dresses all over cottonwood canyon in salt lake city utah area and I was not like littering foil stars as I was walking around you know like sometimes I see stuff like this and it's like yeah I've like worn that stuff before and it's like you like shed the foil applique stuff but not the case here and then we have two layers and then of course our horse hair braiding all along the hem which is really nice and this has a zip back dress and what's also cool about this dress is you can alter the neckline to go as low or as high as you want not least is the raven gown mm, with black velvet and lace with long sleeves this was my and my photographer, uh, Visuals by G. This was our favorite dress to shoot. It was just so dramatic and so fun and also warm. Like if you're doing a winter wedding or you're doing a fall wedding, velvet's it. Interesting way. Okay, so this dress has a wrap front, as you can see. That just means that one side wraps over the other, which is good. Really lovely velvet. Here are the lace on the sleeves. And this was genius design on her part. She opened up the sleeve at the end. If she had stayed, it, had kept it closed, it would have been hard. It would have limited the range of movement, but she opened it up. 
And then all along the train, we have this lace sewn on to the bottom of the skirt. Y'all, this is like peak what we wanna see from black on in a second for y'all. And something that I sometimes worry about when getting a gown is I don't wanna look pregnant. And I definitely carry a lot of my weight in my stomach, so this is a concern for me. But the way that she's done all of these silhouettes is it's clear you are not expecting. And if you are an expecting bride, live your best effing life. But if you're not, you don't want people saying congratulations to you. I don't know, that's just me. And then I would also like to review, um, we had Spite and Sparrow send us some jewelry for the photo shoot, because these are in the same kind of like witchy, spooky family. So first up, Sparrow of Spite and Sparrow. This is what's called tatting. So a little similar to like actual lace making, but Sparrow of Spite and Sparrow, she makes these jewelry pieces and I actually interviewed Sparrow um, on my blog. They're a lovely creative and such a cute, fun person. And then Sparrow also has a Patreon group with patterns where they will teach people how to make these pieces. Really great for these dresses with Hannah Caroline Couture because they're not like jewel encrusted traditional like fairy tale princess stuff. There's still some sparkle, but it all works together harmoniously. So these are an earrings set. Boop, boop. And a choker or collar that you can see. Here, all handmade, made in the US, a ribbon tied back. How gorgeous would that be if you had like a low back dress and like long, long ribbers, ribbons. Mm. Mm, mm. 